Hello you all, this is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Ben & Jerry's Sunday Oh My Banoffee Pie. Banana with chocolatey caramel cups and cookie swirls topped with creamy whipped ice cream, caramel swirls and chocolatey chunks. A lot of words there, a lot of words that I'm going to forget in just a second or two. It is apparently new and we're going to take a quick look around the pint right here. Uh, Design-wise it looks really nice. The, the choice of colors is very decent indeed. I love this like sort of dark brown, milky, caramelly, light brownish vibe. Um, really enjoy the design on this one. The side of the pint looks all right as well. We've got a beloved cow here. Does it have a name? I don't know. Uh, let us take a look at the nutrition table instead right away. Pause if you want to read that. Pause if you want to read the ingredients list in German. I'll turn it like this and I turn it like this so that you have everything in focus at least once. Pause if you want to read the ingredients list in French and also pause if you want to read the ingredients list in Dutch. Uh, anything here that is of interest? Not to me particularly. Overall, nice looking outside of this pint. Uh, let us open up this thing now. Toss that aside, lift the top, and it looks, yeah, it looks all right. Um, usually with these sundaes, you've got this whipped sort of cream top here, it looks good. Uh, the chocolate could have been distributed a bit more nicely, I think, but that could just be considered nitpicking on my part here. So um, let's zoom out once again real quick, take our cutting board, set aside the tweezers, the spoon, and take the blade and we're going to cut this right from up top uh, instead of the usual cut from the bottom to the top because if we cut it from the bottom to the top and this one we have just a lot of um, well mushed up stuff mushed up stuff I don't even know English so cross section wise what does it look like okay it's a bit difficult to slice apart down here didn't really go through all the way Oh no. Oh, oh, that was... <laughs> That's just me, I guess. Okay, uh, cross-section wise, it looks alright. We've got a lot of that whipped top cream, whipped cream top or whatever they call it. Um, about, yeah, 60% it seems of the height of the pint is ice cream. Then we've got these um, filled, as we can see here, filled like chocolate thingies. What are they called? Uh, choc maybe chocolatey chunks with caramel in them? Something like that. Looks alright though, so which one are we going to take? Uh, I cut through the ingredients list on both sides, so yeah. Doesn't really matter, I'll take the left one, the other one is going back into the freezer and I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright, I'm back at the desk, so let us take a close look at this right now. Uh, let's try the little like chocolate pieces up top first. I think we've tried these quite a few times by now. They uh, make their way into many different ice creams from Ben & Jerry's. So always good, these things, usually they are. Oh, This is why I bring tweezers, right? Just to drop things in a more sophisticated manner. Uh, let's go for this one first. Okay, this one is a solid chocolate one. Oh, what is it? What is it called? Probably something like, I don't know. Cocoa fat lace curvature type of deal. There are like specific requirements that you have to meet to call it chocolate, but um, usually these ones right here are called something differently instead. Uh, let's go for a second one. Yeah, it just tastes like regular darker curvature. Tastes alright though. So let's go for before this this melts too quickly for a bit of a taste test of this cream top. Looks good, it's very soft, really feels like cream. And yes, it melts away very quickly in your mouth. Tastes good. Tastes very much like regular, just very light ice cream, whipped ice cream, which is of course what this is uh, supposed to be, I guess. Let's go for a bit of caramel sauce here. Yeah, that very much. Tastes like caramel sauce. Not as fudgy as uh, I expected. More like a... Almost a, a honey type flavor to it. Is there any honey mentioned here? 
not hair up top, it, it, it reminds me a lot of a mix of caramel and honey, which is something I've never had before, but um, the first taste that you get is, is honey from this, and it looks a lot like honey when you, when you think about it. It looks lighter than regular caramel sauce, so um, yeah, it, it's good though, very good. Go for, some, for a spoonful of both of these components right up top. Very enjoyable indeed. Um, when you've got actual spoonfuls of this, you've got more, more texture, I guess. Um, a, a mix of this, this lighter milk ice cream and this, this sauce, this caramel sauce. Very pleasant texture, very soft. Melts away so quickly that you uh, barely even call it ice cream. It's um, very interesting. It, it just is like a cloud, like a frozen cloud in your mouth, almost. It is really nice though. So let's go for something else. So what is this? Is this one of these? I think this is one of these cookie swirls, right? We'll leave that alone for a moment. And we go for the ice cream itself right here. Oh yes, that's banana flavored ice cream. Oh, it tastes good. It doesn't even taste too artificial. No, it tastes really nice actually. A mild banana flavor. Not too overpowering. Not necessarily synthetic at all, at least from these first like small spoonfuls of ice cream base that we've got here. Very decent as of now. I had a bit of that, that cookie swirl, I guess, in one of these spoonfuls from the right here. Let's go for another one of those. There's a bit of that cookie swirl, it seems, in there. Let us make our way to that swirl. Let's stick it out a little bit here. Oh no. It's melting quite quickly, even the bottom here, which is a bit unfortunate for these reviews, but not really a problem when you are just eating this. So looks-wise, this looks almost like a slightly darker shortbread cookie. Well, I think it's called shortbread cookie, right? I think, I think that's what it is. Looks a bit like it. If I'm wrong, I'll put something else on the screen right now. <laughs> Consistency-wise, it is a bit closer to cookie though, though um, of course it's, it's a lot wetter than regular shortbread cookie when it is in ice cream like this. Flavor wise it is nice, quite sweet, a bit a bit granulate almost, not really the most homogeneous of consistencies there. It reminds me a bit of cookie dough actually. All right, so far so good. Let's go for one of these ooh, filled chocolate pieces here. Tastes like a lighter chocolate than there is on top. Um, not too much of that filling I could taste. It does taste, um, yeah, now it, it does, as it warms up, the, the caramel flavor develops a bit better. So it does taste of caramel, yes. Nice and crunchy. Decent texture of these little ones here. I mean, you've got creamy fillings, or these like saucy fillings in, in like um, little chocolate praliné pieces. When you, when you freeze them down to the, to the point where you've got actual ice cream like this here, they always are really hard, so these ones here are quite a bit more runny and do, they do retain that, that liquid consistency quite well. Yeah, it's quite alright, I've got to say. So, so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Banana flavour is nice, that whipped cream ice cream top here is nice as well. That cookie that is sort of separating these two components here does taste good as well. So does the caramel sauce. The chocolate pieces up top and here in the bottom are very decent. So all in all, it does uh, seem to be a very decent product as of right now. So I think I'm going to finish this off and I'll be back with you and the review sheet in just a second. All right, the consumption process is complete and we are ready to rate this with the review sheet. The first impression has been very decent. The design of the packaging was uh, quite all right and when we opened up the top, it looked good as well. Color-wise, uh, when it comes to the product itself, I do have to say that um, all of these things looked uh, mostly as expected. Maybe that caramel sauce at the very top I would have expected to be a bit darker. Um, the way it presented itself to us today, it looked uh, a bit more like honey. But that's not a bad thing. I mean, honey is quite alright as well. And 
yeah, I, I cannot really deduct any points in that regard. It looks uh, overall uh, beautiful when it comes to the, the arrangement of different colors they put into this uh, particular product. Consistency and texture-wise, uh, everything has been very decent as well. The whipped ice cream up top was very decent. The chocolate pieces with that sauce in it at the bottom were nice. Um, the ice cream itself, the base banana flavored ice cream, I think it was, yes. Uh, that has been very decent as well. Um, although you didn't really um, have too much opportunity to really enjoy that because of all of these uh, mixins that we've got in here. Those really seem to be the star of the show and uh, the ice cream itself is, is really just um, playing its role in the background almost. Uh, the cookie pieces themselves, well, there are some crumbles uh, down there which maybe have just been uh, well pushed down by the knife from that separating cookie layer we've had in this particular um pint. Maybe this is something different in, in different pints. I don't quite know what the deal is with that. I did expect more of a, a swirly type deal with the cookie instead of just having a separating layer between the um, the whipped ice cream up top and the, the banana ice cream at the bottom. I did expect a bit more of that. Therefore only 1.75 out of two available points. Um, if Maybe this is different though for different pints. I'm not quite sure about that. As you might imagine from what I've said previously in this video uh, about the taste, I don't have much to complain about. Um, the only thing that is a bit Odd though is that the, the sauce itself up top that reminded me a lot more of, of honey than a regular caramel sauce maybe would. Uh, and also another thing, um, maybe this is just me, but the, the base ice cream down at the bottom, when you mix it with all of the other flavors that are in here, while it wasn't um, tasting like something bad synthetic, it didn't really taste as natural as you would expect a natural banana flavored ice cream to taste. Um, it's not 100% what I would consider to be the flavor that should be here. Now this is not a huge deal, but um, maybe you can leave me down in the comment section uh, if you had this yourself, uh, your opinion about that. Maybe I'm just uh, objectively wrong, uh, I don't know, but I've had banana ice cream before and it tasted, the one that I've tasted, tasted more natural than this. There, there's a weird sort of slightly synthetic whiff almost that um, I didn't expect. Therefore, I, I don't really want to give full points in that regard. But um, it, it's not awful in any way and it doesn't really detract from a decent experience. So still 4.5 out of 5 available points. Overall, it's, it's very decent. Theme realization wise, also not much to complain about. Only two things, uh, the cookies world situation and the banana flavor situation, but we've uh, talked about that previously, so I don't really have to elaborate on that in uh, this section right now. Uh, 0.75 out of one available point in the theme realization department though. Nine out of 10 is therefore the final rating for this particular item, the um, Ben and Jerry's Sunday oh my banoffee pie. Yes, so um, really a different thing these Sundays from Ben and Jerry's. I don't really have a problem with them. I, I do like them, especially this whipped ice cream up top. That is something very different that I've never had before really in this particular uh, form. Um, I, I really do enjoy that about these. And when you see them on sale, um, I could definitely recommend giving this particular one uh, a try as well. Uh, maybe if this is on sale uh, again in the future, I might actually pick it up. I, I did enjoy this so far. Maybe the other half is completely different, but I, I don't expect that to be the case at all now. So, I think this is where we're going to end this particular video then. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.